and hello ladies and gentlemen, Jazz Strato here from Jazz Strato, let's play here to do another vlog, Suicide Squad director on how much Batman is in the film. The new Suicide Squad trailer featured a wealth of new footage, as well as some new songs that, but that wasn't caught by most people's eyes. What popped off the screen more than anything was the wealth of Batman scenes in exchange with Fernando director David Ayer addresses the Dark Knight's involvement as well as when the film takes place. Hmm, interesting. Next little bit of news. There could be a live action Pokemon movie on the way. Eh, don't know how they're going to do that, but we'll see. A live action Pokemon movie could be a reality according to a new report by Hollywood reporter Warner Brothers and Legendary are in a high stakes bidding war over the live action movie rights to Pokemon, the popular video game franchise. The report claims that Legendary is the current front runner for the movie rights even though Warner Brothers had, well, had success with the first animated Pokemon movies over 15 years ago. If successful, Legendary who would develop the movie into a big budget live action film presumably based on Ash, protagonist from the companion anime series and his partner Pikachu. Should be interesting, guys. Now you see me too screaming at CinemaCon. Evacuated? Huh? The screening of Now You See Me Too at CinemaCon, at CinemaCon was interrupted 15 minutes in after someone reported a bomb threat. At 3 p.m. PT, several hundred attendees were escorted out of the Colosseum, the Colosseum at Caesar's Palace. Once they were gone, police moved in to inspect the threat. CinemaCon Managing Director Mitch Neohuzo, I think that's how you spell it, he gave a statement of what prompted the evacuation. During the screening of Now You See Me 2, someone went to our security people and said there's a backpack in, a, in the chair next to me and the people haven't returned. So the precautionary reasons they felt the, the, the prudent thing to do was to ask everyone to kindly leave not thinking that there's anything was wrong, but for safety and precautions of you all. The good news is that it was ended up not being a threat, though the film could, uh, could no longer be screened. Damn. A potential threat had to be taken serious, NATO spokesperson Patrick Corrigan said in a statement, by the time we determined it was not a threat, it was too late to start the movie. Aww. While I'm sure it was an inconvenience to the attendees, at least everyone is okay, and that's what really matters. True. A little bit of um, trivia here. Apparently, Batman vs Superman's original cut was nearly four hours long. Screw that! I'm not going to be sitting through four hours of friggin' um, movie. <laughs> uh, moving along. Tom Hiddleston wants Loki to take on Benedict Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange. That will be an interesting fight. Hmm, indeed, indeed. And the last bit of news for today. Jackie Earl. Jackie Earl Haley cast as the Terror in Amazon's The Tick. The Tick is coming back to a live action thanks to Amazon. Great. And now we know who Peter... I can't even say that name. In the Tetelia lead role, will be fighting Jack Earl Hay. No stranger to comic book adaptations, will play the Terror, a supervillain leader of evil in Ben Ellen's comic books, and a big bad, and well, excuse me, and a big bad in the previous adaptations of the material. Hmm, should be interesting, guys. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, come back for another vlog on my channel. This is Jazz Strato saying, see you later on Jazz Strato. Let's play. <laughs>